Hey guys, if you're considering to sign up for a new hosting account with iPage, I just want to kind of go in and give you a brief overview of what iPage is, take you inside the control panel and show you how it works because it's not like the usual C panel that you may be used to uh, if that's what you use. But what I want to do is, um, is, is tell you some good things about it, some bad things about it, and tell you where you can always make sure you're getting the best deal when you do purchase uh, an iPage account. And so that's what I want to discuss first is that we use, we're a web designing business, so we have over 400 domains, many, many hosting accounts. And so what we always do is we go to this website here called webhostclipper.com. And this is a site that's dedicated just to offering the latest and up-to-date coupon codes. And lots of times you'll find exclusive coupon codes here that you're not going to find at other places. And you can see here they have one right now for iPage Special, the $1.99 a month hosting with a free domain name. And uh, just by clicking on the Get Code uh, link right here, it's going to take you to this page where you can get the $1.99 a month deal. And, um, and you can also see here you get unlimited disk space, bandwidth, free domain name registration. Now the one thing that I don't like about this is that their domains, if you do buy additional domain names on top of the free one, they're I believe uh, $15, $16 each, uh, which is a little bit on the high end. So what we normally do is we'll go out to a different domain registrar to purchase our domains for about 10 bucks a piece, and then we'll direct them to our iPage account. So, but the iPage hosting is really good, especially for uh, people who's wanting to set up a blog, like a, a WordPress site. I'll take you in the control panel and show you how easy that is to do here in just a second. But if you're looking to set up a blog, if you're looking to set up a business, an online e-commerce site, uh, if you do any kind of uh, photography or, or designing and you want to create your own like little portfolio and have a place to show it online, uh, this is really, really an, an awesome way to do it through iPage because they have all those tools available to you and it's really easy to use. As you can see here, there's a lot of extras, a lot of advertising uh, credits you get for signing up. And you can kind of visit this page and check out more. Uh, just make sure that you go through the web host clipper uh, link so, so you do get the applied uh, discount and coupon code available for that. And I'll put that under this video. You can just click on it and it'll take you uh, to web host clipper and check it out. But here is inside of the control panel. And if you're used to using cPanel, you're going to notice that this does uh, have a little bit of similarities to it. Um, but it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit neater. There's um, there's a little bit less stuff on it. But basically, all of your stuff's right up front. It's listed on the right-hand column. Everything you need to know about your name servers, if you're redirecting domain names, your FTP path, um, even to set up your mail with your POP and your SMTP, all that's listed there. And you can uh, have more features shown there. Uh, for the average person, you're not going to be using a whole lot of that stuff, though. But most of everything you're going to have is going to be listed here, where you can edit your website, edit your emails, your domain names. You can view your site, check your email, and you can even check your stats. It's all here in one place for you. And you got your file manager, which lists all the files listed within your domains. Um, here is your uh, scripts. It has many different scripts, which are similar to cPanel that you can install. But it goes through the Mojo Marketplace, which is a little bit different, but uh, it only takes uh, about a minute to get used to. Uh, they have a, a shop site starter. Uh, visitor statistics, they have two different website builders which are both very nice. Um, you can even upgrade to get more features if you choose to do that if you want to go beyond the free. And then WordPress, if you're looking to install a, Word, a WordPress site, it's really simple. You just follow this, this WordPress link, install it on the domain that you pick, and it's live. I mean, it is, it is super, super easy to do. There's nothing technical about it. You can also control all of your email here. Uh, domain name, here's your domain central. You can register new domain names through your control panel. You can transfer. Um, these are additional marketing services here that are available. And additional tools, if you're a little bit more advanced and if you get into that kind of stuff, uh, these are some different op you can, options you can use and then your account information is all listed here. But, but overall, iPage, in my opinion, uh, they offer really good hosting. A lot of uh, hosting providers where you get um, hosting from, you know, for $1.99, um, you know, they're really iffy about their web hosting, and they can be online and offline. You never know when. It just kind of goes back and forth. But, but overall, iPage is ideal for uh, the average person looking to build and get online and uh, try to get out there and get exposure for your website. So I do highly recommend them. Be sure that you visit webhostclipper.com, though, uh, to get here and get these coupons. Grab them. Uh, just click on the Get Code. It'll automatically apply the code for this iPage site, and it'll redirect you to the uh, discount page. And also, what you may want to do is um, Web Host Clipper, they, they, uh, they have a sign-up here for emails. And if you sign up for them, they will send you all those exclusive emails as... Um, 
as they get them and a lot of these exclusive coupons are very limited time 24 to 48 hours and are over with before you even know it but if you sign up uh, and, and subscribe you'll get notification of them as soon as they get out there and hopefully be able to take advantage of them so uh, that's my review of iPage I hope it helps you guys to make a better decision on whether you want to sign up for it or not but like I said I do recommend them I think they're overall a really good web host and they offer um, a lot of options for the price of uh, just $1.99 a month